And joining me now is Cheryl Moore. She is a medical care administrator with Erie County. Cheryl, why was it so impactful to hear the Surgeon General recommend that people carry naloxone? Um, it really validates the point that this is just a normalized first aid response, no different than people learning CPR or learning how to use an AED. It's something everyone should know how to do and it just saves a life. And you've been doing these seminars for a while, teaching people how to use it. About how many people now have been trained? In Erie County, we've trained about 20,000 individuals on how to recognize an overdose, administer Narcan, follow up, get the person help. That's a lot, and I know that Erie County has been recognized for their measures really being so proactive. Um, but now the Surgeon General recommending everybody carry mm -hmm. it, and it looks pretty small. I mean, you could easily carry it on your person, in a purse, in a car. Um, is it complicated to learn how to use this? It's a very simple procedure. People come to the training and they're kind of taken aback, but when they leave, they're very comfortable. They know how to use it. The unit that you have there is very familiar to people, something like a nasal spray that they take for allergies. So it's not something that's foreign or different to them. And then how do you go about getting one? Where and how are they available? Well, you can get Narcan in New York State, which is great at any drugstore without a prescription. Um, you take your prescription card in, whatever your copay is, mm -hmm. that's all you pay for it. It is covered under all insurances. Um, the pro if you do not have the money for your copay, New York State has a program in place called NCAP. They will pay up to $40 of a copay. If people, if that's still prohibitive, you know, they have a large spend down or something of that sort, they can come to one of our trainings and we'll get the Narcan for them for free. If there's someone in your family who's struggling with substance abuse. It might be a no brainer to carry this, but you want other people to. What, what's the argument for suggesting that the general public have access to these? It's just a first aid response and you never know when you will see this. When we talk about substance abuse, it may not be that. Someone might take their prescription wrong. Mm -hmm. There's very dangerous medications out there and accidentally people could take something. So learning how to do this is it's good for everyone. Really interesting to mm -hmm. know that these resources are avail available in Erie County. Absolutely. Alrighty, great. Cheryl Moore, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.